Hey, this is Chloe from Go Chloe Pilates and welcome to Good Moves with Well and Good. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a Pilates workout for better posture because we all wanna have better posture to stand taller and feel stronger around our upper backs and our spines. Let's do it. We are gonna start on hands and knees. So bring yourself over. We're gonna go hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. And we're gonna start by just opening out the spine a little bit. If you spent, if you spend a lot of time sitting, this will feel good for you. So you're gonna take a big breath in, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, find a big twist. And as you breathe out, take that hand straight back down. And we're gonna go straight to the other side. Breathe in, twist the body open. Breathe out to come back down. And think about the rotation really coming from your upper back and your shoulders, reaching the fingers up as high as you can as you twist through the body. Feeling that nice opening through the chest and especially across your upper back. <sighs> breathing in to reach, breathing out to lower. We're gonna go one more each side. <sighs> twist. And lower, coming back to our hands and knees. Hands underneath those shoulders. You're gonna sink your chest down, feel your shoulder blades squeeze together, and then press the mat away from you and lift through the chest. So we're gonna keep the elbows pretty straight as we do this. We sink the chest, feel your shoulder blades wrap behind your back, and then press the mat away from you to lift through the chest. So we call these shoulder shrugs or serratus push-ups because we're working a muscle called our serratus anterior, which wraps underneath our shoulder blades and helps support our shoulder blades against our upper backs. It's almost like a flossing of the arm bones and it should feel good. You should feel that movement underneath the shoulder blades. Feels good for me. We're gonna go for another three and two. Okay, one more like that. Find the lift of the chest. We're gonna hold it there in that lifted position and that's really important to keep. We're gonna take the left leg and the right arm, we're gonna reach them away from the body. Finding a reach, a length away from you and then take them straight back down. Same side, reach away. Left leg, right arm, reach away, far away, but draw the ribs in, good, and then come back down. Keep it going, exhale to reach. <sighs> Inhale to lower. Exhale to reach away. Inhale to come back in. And even though that right arm is moving. We should really feel a lot of work in that left shoulder because we're pressing and we're lifting away from the mat. And I want you to keep resetting that every time you come down. See if you can find a little bit more of a lift up away from the mat. That's gonna help to build strength and support in the muscles that stabilize that shoulder blade against our upper backs. <sighs> we're gonna go for two. On the next one, reach away from you, Hold it out there. We're gonna lower the fingers and the toes. We're gonna tap the mat. And then we're gonna lift back up with that length. Inhale, lower tap. Exhale to lift. If it's too much for the shoulder, you can also do this with the hand down and just do it with the leg. But otherwise, keep it going. This is how we build strength around that shoulder. <sighs> back of the neck lifted in line with the spine. So try not to let it drop down. It wants to stay lifted. Keep it going for two. One more like that. Lift it up, hold it up there. Reach the fingers and the toes away from you and then they're gonna open out to the sides. The left leg opens to the left, the right arm to the right and then it reaches forward out in front of us again. We inhale as they open out. We exhale to bring it forward. Open out, bring it forward. A little bit of balance and stability work here as well but so good for our posture because it's working all of these stabilizing muscles around the body. <sighs> Open and in, keep it going. <sighs> We're here for two. One more like that, reach it away, hold it. Lift the chest a little bit more and just hold it still for 10. Breathe, you got this, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Bring it all the way in. Take your left hand, thread it under the right and come into a twisted stretch. You can crawl the right fingers forward in front of you. Just feel that nice stretch through the back of that left shoulder and hold it there. Take a big breath in and out and then crawl that right hand in. Lift yourself up and let's do it on the other side. So 
we'll set ourselves up again. Just maybe a couple of those little shrugs to set up our shoulder. So finding that lifted position of the chest, but then draw the shoulder blades gently down your back. From here, we're gonna extend the right leg this time and the left arm away from the body. And then we bring it back in. Exhale to reach away. Inhale to bring it in. And in. And now even though it's the left arm that's moving, that right arm is working just as hard to keep that lift of the chest. <sighs> connect with your breath, connect with your body, connect with how you're feeling on the mat. Right now, in this moment, you've got breaks, you can take them whenever you need, otherwise keep coming with me. <sighs> Reach away. <sighs> Stay with it, maybe the tiniest bend in that stabilizing elbow, just so that it's unlocked. So small, I can hardly see it's bent, but it's there. <sighs> On the next one, reach away, hold it there. We're gonna lower the fingers and the toes. We're gonna tap them out, and then we're gonna lift them straight back up. Inhale, lower tap. Exhale to lift and lengthen. Reaching the fingers and the toes away from us. Can you lift a little bit more up out of that stabilizing arm, that stabilizing shoulder? <sighs> Working on our balance here as well. We're here for another Three, and two, one more like that. Lift it up, we're gonna come into those arm and leg openings. We're gonna open out to the side, and then we're gonna bring it in. Remember, if the arm needs a break, you can drop the arm down and just do it with the leg. See how far out you can go. Challenge yourself here, challenge your stability. Can you lift a little bit more? <sighs> Opening out, feeling that engagement in the muscles in the side of the waist as well. <sighs> Our oblique muscles. We're gonna be here still for three. And two. One more like that. We reach it away, lengthen a little bit more, pull the ribs in, the belly in, reach the fingers and the toes and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down. Take your right hand, thread it underneath the left. Whew, drop the head down. Draw the left fingers away from you, enjoy the stretch. And just hold it there in that nice, beautiful deep stretch. Take a big breath in. And out. Let it go. All right, you can crawl that hand back in. We're gonna lay all the way down now onto our tummy. So bring yourself all the way down. Legs about hip width distance apart. And our arms are gonna come out to the sides of the body. So elbows wide. And I want you to sort of find this gently lifted position. So you can point the toes so the feet are flat, but the upper body and the chest are gonna be lifted up off the mat. Tuck the chin slightly to keep the back of the neck long, but then I want you to think about tucking your tailbone under here. So you're almost drawing your belly button away from the mat slightly. You don't have to be in too much of a lift of the upper body and tuck the chin slightly so that you're looking down towards the mat. We're gonna hold that position here. We're gonna take the arms and hover and lift them away from the mat. And then we're gonna drop them straight back down. So we exhale, lift, inhale to lower. You don't have to be too high here. Make sure you're keeping that tailbone tucked under. And as you lift those arms up, away from the mat, you're feeling this engagement right in the muscles between your shoulder blades. So we're working directly into those postural muscles that help us sit or stand with a better posture throughout the day. Because these muscles have to work hard. We've got to build strength in them. Keep it going, little tuck of that chin. Feel that squeeze of those shoulder blades together. For another three. And two, one more, drop the arms down, drop the head, just take it to the side and breathe. Take a big breath in and out. And then we're gonna come back up. We're gonna press into the hands a little again, tuck the chin slightly, tuck the tailbone under, so belly button draws in towards the spine. We're gonna lift those arms up into a little hover but now we're gonna draw the elbows in beside the body. Now roll the shoulders back a little bit more, tuck the chin. We're gonna reach the arms forward in front of us, and then we're gonna pull the elbows back in. 
beside us. So we're gonna exhale. We inhale to pull the elbows in. Exhale to reach away. Inhale to come back in. Now less is more here. You don't have to be too high. If it's too hard reaching the arms forward, just make it a smaller movement. You can go halfway if you want, if that feels better for you. But each time you draw those elbows in close to the body, see if you can find like a little bit more of a lift. Keep it going. We're gonna be here for three. And two. One more like that. Hands come down. You're gonna lift yourself all the way up and come onto your knees. All right, from here. You can also do this up in standing if it feels better for you. And you can also do this with some hand weights. So if you've got hand weights at home, you can grab them. You can also use wine bottles or cans in the hands. So come onto your knees, sit your hips back. Like you're almost gonna take a seat down onto your heels, but long through the spine. You're gonna take your hands, face them behind you, roll the shoulders back, and then reach your arms behind you. Like you're reaching your fingertips behind you. Roll the shoulders back a little bit more, tuck the chin, and then just lower and lift those arms. Inhale to lower down, exhale to lift. Back of the neck stays long. Belly button hugs in towards the spine, rib cage draws in. And with each lift of the arms, again, feel that work right into the back of the shoulders between those shoulder blades. <sighs> Getting these muscles active so that the next time you're sitting, looking at your phone or your laptop, you wanna actually feel these muscles working and helping you improve your posture. <sighs> We're here for three. And two, one more, lift those arms back, hold it there, back of the neck is long, tuck the chin. You're gonna draw little circles with the arms up and around. <sighs> little circles, good, but feel the work in the backs of the arms, the backs of those shoulders, they're all working hard. <sighs> We're almost there, reverse it. You gotta go the other way, up and around. <sighs> Think about this length through your spine, a slight tuck of the chin reaching those fingers behind you. And then hold it still. Your palms are gonna go in towards one another. Imagine you've got a big beach ball behind your back and you're gonna squeeze the air out of it and then you're gonna fill it back up. So we squeeze, we release. We squeeze, we release. <sighs> Exhaling on that squeeze. <sighs> we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Reach those fingers a little bit longer, sort of down towards your toes, you're reaching those fingers. We're gonna be here still for another five, and four, and three, and two. One more like that, and then you can relax. Just take a seat back to your heels, give your shoulders a big roll up and around. Take your head over to the side, and then up and over to the other side. And then you are all done. Thank you so much for joining me for that quick postural Pilates workout. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good and check out my YouTube channel, Pilates with GoFlow, for more. Thanks so much.